I remember my diagnosis being rather traumatic because I was 12 years old and I was in the middle of 7th grade basketball season. I've been a vegetarian my whole life and they were like, we have to give you pig or beef insulin, which one? And I was like, oh, <laughs> so like choosing like taco meat. I remember feeling just like that awful feeling that it's not, you know, it's not going to get better in the sense that you're going to get to stop doing this. I mean, you have to be thinking ahead like five steps, like where's my next meal, what's my next activity level, how much water have I had, how much stress have I had, how much insulin's already on board, all of those things. And I think that naturally kind of permeates into the rest of your life. I'm thinking about the hill in five minutes. I want this to be powering these. <laughs> There's an Enneagram personality type um, categorization, and there's one that's called the challenger. Basically is, give me any kind of challenge, and I, I thrive off of meeting a challenge. It's just like, I honestly get energy from challenges. And so it seems like the ultimate challenge is an Ironman, but I also didn't want to just do it for the sake of doing it for myself. And so um, that's why I like the idea of doing it with diabetes because you're also working and mentoring. I've never been involved with the diabetic community and I've never felt a strong need to be a part of the community of people with diabetes. When I was in college, I did a couple uh, Walk for the Cure events and, and, there's and I remember being not super impressed because I think I was like, it was like a six mile walk and I, want, I really wanted to run it and like no one was running it. And, in the back of my mind, I always thought at some point in my life I want to get more involved. And I think this is the type of diabetic community I'd want to be involved in. This is our first ride. And we're all decked out in our chai beans gear. And I think we've all just tested our blood sugars together. I worried that I wouldn't necessarily have anything beyond diabetes in common with other people in the program. In my mind, I was kind of thinking like, Great. What's this going to be like? Like everyone's going to be sitting around talking about their blood sugars, and it's... but I was really surprised, and it's really opened up my eyes in a lot of ways to to feel and to learn how nice and caring people were. They were so warm and just open and get up, you know wanted to get to know each other. <laughs> Feeling good, liking the wind. Liking my team. She also wants to be a writer, uh, and this is making her write in her blog, not only about diabetes, but exercise, which are two things that she's really too interested about. You know, and just educating the world about diabetes. And so every single aspect seems to be touching something that she's really interested in. Building community within the diabetes world, because that to me is a huge part of what is happening with diabetes, because you build, I mean, you have this this common experience that you guys are sharing and through that you build what I think is a community. Like you care about each other, you support each other, you talk to each other and that's totally the definition of community in my mind. So a tri buddy would be someone who is training to do an Ironman gets a kid who has diabetes and the person who's training to do the Ironman has diabetes too and they work together to um, deal with diabetes. When I saw the website and I saw what um, the organization was doing, I really felt driven that he should be part of it. I anticipate hopefully inspiring them a little bit, but also learning from them, because I think kids have a lot to teach us. So I'm excited about just that kind of energy of being around a kid. Yeah, I'm saying it for you. Hopefully someone who's had it for 20 years can say, yeah, it hasn't changed if anything, it's added to the things that I now hope for and dream for and I'm able to do. Getting ready to do a triathlon. Give it a shot! I really think it's important that Keaton have good role models and my job as a mom is to give him a foundation for the rest of his life. And I think that as he goes through his life, I'm not gonna have a lot of control later, but now if I can expose him to amazing uh, people and athletes and, um, and mentors that are doing positive things with their life. I think it's always hard to measure a high quality program really 
if you have a program that's basically deeper than just numbers, I think it's very difficult. For me, the actual like real benefit of the program comes in just the quality of the interactions that you have with people. And, and then I think the inspiration that comes along with human connections.